Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to register and discover your TIPCO BW Container Edition services on Cloud Foundry and Kubernetes. In this video, we will going to cover two sample REST application for service which is basically my registering app and the client app which is basically going to discover that, that service app. Uh, then we will going to test that on studio then we will push it on cloud foundry instance binding it with eureka then uh, the same app we will going to uh, use it for docker and uh, we will use console for registry and discovery and the same docker image we will push it on uh, kubernetes and use console for registry and discovery Prerequisites are you need to download uh, BW Container Edition Studio and also the runtime for Docker image. Uh, you also need to install Docker. Uh, you can uh, add Eureka service registry tool from Cloud Foundry Marketplace as a managed service or you can download it uh, from Eureka website. You also need to download console server for uh, the Docker. So for BWC service app configuration, which is basically your registry, uh, you need to set up such configuration, wherein for PCF, uh, there are two registration mode, direct and indirect. In case of direct, uh, there is a container IP and container port with which your application will be registered. The scheme by default will be HTTP, uh, but you can make it as HTTPS uh, in connector shared resource, you have to enable uh, SSL. In case of indirect, it will be registered with the routable URL of your application with the port as 443 and by default it will be registered with HTTPS. In case of Docker Kubernetes, it will always be direct registration mode. To register your app, uh, you have two mandatory conditions. You need to provide the service name in your connector shared resource and you have to bind your application with uh, Eureka service in case of Cloud Foundry or provide Eureka server URLs or the console server URL. So in case of uh, the client app configuration, which is basically your discovery, uh, you need to enable your service discovery flag in your HTTP client shared resource and also provide the service name with which you want to discover. And once you do that, you just have to bind your application when you push your application on Cloud Foundry with Eureka managed service or you need to provide Eureka server URL or console server URL as an let me create a project so i am creating rest service i will create a rest service uh, remove post click on get click on finish then i will configure the get activity in the input tab i will going to hard code the string as hello pwce Okay, so this seems to be good. Now let's create another app which is REST client app. Click on finish. Again create a REST service for this client app. I will just choose get and click finish. I will going to now do a reference binding for my service. I will going to provide my host HTTP slash resources. Click on get because it's a res get service. I will drag the get activity, link it to my get output. In my get output, I will go to properties, input tab, and drag the item as the response from my service. Now if I go to my connector, uh, my other service connector is on 8080 so I will make it as 1080 and just click on run. So seems like uh, the service and the client both are up. So I will show you the output of service. So you can see it is coming as hello BWCE. Now let's see the output of client. So which is on 18080 so you can see the output as hello bwc now what i'll do i'll just make it as uh, now i want to push it on cloud foundry i'll just give my rest service name 
and uh, export it as a service so this is the exported er i will go to my client and in my http client shared uh, shared resources i will say enable service discovery and provide the same rest service name which i have provided in uh, my service under http connector shared resource okay so let's go and export this client er and I've exported it and it is here. Now I'll show you the YAML file. So this is the YAML file for my service. You can see it as a direct registration. This is the ER. This is the build pack I'm using. And this is the service which is the managed service I have uh, created from uh, Cloud Foundry Marketplace. These are the two environment variable and enable service direct registration is true. Now you can see this is the configuration direct indirect. Indirect container IP is the actual IP with which it will be registered. Now and in the indirect it will be the routable URL. To register your service you need service name which I have already provided and you need this Eureka service I am adding from marketplace. So I have added it here so this is the name you can see this is the name of my service when i click on manage so this is the eureka dashboard i am pushing my service now on my cloud foundry instance so as i said uh, this is the direct and this is the indirect mode in indirect mode i don't have that enable service registry so seems like the app is pushed so you can see the app is registered on my eureka instance you can see it as the, with the IP address of my container. I will open that push service, click on provide resources and uh, you should see the response here. Now let's push the client app. I'll show you the client YAML. This is the client YAML. So here you can see uh, again uh, the build pack and everything. Now seems like the application is almost pushed on my Cloud Foundry instance. I'll go to my client app since I have opened it in debug mode or pushed it in debug mode. So you should be able to see the logs. So I'll open my client app, hit the client app slash resource. And uh, yes you can see the same response which is actually hitting the service so if i search my underscore ip so this is the keyword so you can see the discovered ip as the ip which is registered on eureka and this is the port is secure is false so it is not ssl okay so now let's do docker so this is my docker file same er is being used for service and this is my BWC runtime image. PCF part I have already covered. So you can see those YAML for service and client. I am now going to create a client docker image. Sorry, the service docker image. So I have to get inside my service folder and use the service docker file. I am just doing a docker build for my service app. So it is created. Now if I do docker images, you can see service app docker image. Okay. So now let's run this docker image. So this docker image now it is using consul as a service registry. Now I am running that. So seems like the container has started running. So you can see this is the consul server URL. If I open this consul server URL, this is these are the two services right now. Now this is my docker localhost IP address and this is the port 18080 which I have mapped to 8080. Now, uh, okay. So now let's uh, jump to uh, my docker container which I have just started. See the logs. So if I do docker log services, you can see the logs here. Okay, so seems okay. So seems like uh, the service is registered here. If I have to see the Docker host IP address, I have just done Docker hyphen machine address. This is the IP address of my Docker host. This is 
let me hit this on 18080 slash resource and you can see the response same response now I will uh, going to do a docker image build for my client so I will go to my client folder cd client and now let's do docker build and I will use this docker file so you can see this is pointing to my client app now, now I will going to do a docker build for client app so it is done now if I do docker images you can see the client app is here and I will now run it on my docker host so it is seems like it is running and uh, right now I have mapped it on 18180 and I am doing log level as debug now I have changed it to 18180 and the response is same so we are good so if I have to show you the logs of my client and grab the uh, underscore IP which will show you the discovered IP okay so you can see the discovered IP as my uh, docker host IP and the port which is 18080 of my service app okay we are good now now let's push it to kubernetes i am tagging my images and pushing it to kubernetes instance which is on my google cloud repository so i am pushing my service now i am tagging my client so i i have tagged my client now i am pushing my client app Okay, now I'll show you the service uh, YAML file for Kubernetes. So this is my tagged uh, Kubernetes image. Now I will say Kubernetes create of my service. So seems like it is created. This is my client YAML for Kubernetes. Same console server URL. I will again do client console uh, Kubernetes YAML file and create it. So it is done. Let's open the dashboard of Kubernetes. So this is the dashboard of Kubernetes. So if I jump to my service app, this is the external IP. And if I do slash resource, I should be able to see the same response. So same response again, we are good. Now, uh, if I see the registered uh, IP, this is, the, this is the IP address of the container of Kubernetes. Now let's see that of client app. So these are the logs of my client app. Now what I'll do, I'll hit my client app so you can see the same response of uh, the client app. And if I see the discovered IP, you can see this is the discovered IP of the service app which is on my Kubernetes. So this concludes my video. Thank you.